afternoon guys well just come back from a little meeting with friends there about something exciting that's coming up on the horizon later this year fingers crossed we'll see what happens with it when I can I'll let you all know about it but until now yes but I've just been to the shop for two bits and pieces I went a little this time you'll be surprised not dot Tesco's oh no 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 I went a little upmarket now you know yeah, so I'm gonna go home. I've, I'm waiting for me super sculpty to arrive. I've got a few ideas. I'm gonna sculpt some things. So I'm, I'm useless at sculpting. Paula does that. I'm terrible. So I'm gonna have a crack, see what I can do, and I'll update you on that. I'll also update you on the one I've been making to, uh, for the last few days as well. So keep you posted. Hi guys. Been back home a while now. Been getting on a few lots and ends. I've been sucked into the world of the SCP Foundation. I don't know if you've ever heard of the SCP Foundation, but it's a creepy pastry sort of collaboration of different stories, and it's about a, f a foundation called the SCP Foundation. And the SCP stands for Secure Containment Protocols or Secure Contain Protect. And it's about oh, lots of different things. They're all numbered SCP. I think they're up to about 4,000 now. So it's SCP-001 to 4,000. And it details objects with, with anomalous capabilities or mimetic capabilities or... It's, it's really... It's, some of them are absolutely terrifying. For instance, one, the most... I think the most famous and most well-known one is... I think it's SCP-087, which is basically a statue which moves when not observed and when it moves it breaks your neck or you have things like one I'm watching now is I believe is 3007 SCP 3007 which is a an artist's painting which contains some kind of I think it's some kind of doorway into an, uh, another dimension and if you go there you go mad essentially Cthulhu is in there and loads of different ones God is even an SCP well he it's it's a, an entity which claims to be God it's 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 really good so if you, if you want to look into it and delve into it word of warning you get sucked into this world it's just search SCP foundation the website will come up and all the numbers are there and just click on any of them and the, the really interesting thing is they have loads of different um, classes which is I think safe Euclid and Keita Keita is an end of the world scenario but it also means that it, it they don't just class them on how dangerous they are but how difficult they are to contain so the, 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 I mean there's some creatures that are just impossible to contain impossible to kill so they they get a Keita class some of them are so incredible reality ending creatures or objects which are so dangerous that they get a, 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 a class higher than Keita. So, yeah, the, the really, really, really interesting things. But delve into the world, it's really, really interesting. I'm, I'm planning, I think I might do some props or, or some some kind of thing, to, um, okay, because I'm really getting into it at the moment. I might make something to do with it. I said I'd show you a one that I've, made, I've finished for a customer, and here it is. Is a, um, there's a lovely spiral carved into the wand there. It was originally going to be a Pottermore wand. You've probably seen me with these before, like the, the round bulb there, and then the, there would just be grips in the handle, but they didn't like, the customer didn't like that. They wanted some kind of something more organic looking. So I carved in a, a lovely spiral there. So grip, done that. I'm also partaking a bit of sculpting. I haven't sculpted for a very long time and I've decided just to just play around really and get back in before I attempt, even attempt anything really complicated. So at the moment I'm just doing something inspired by SCP Foundation, something a bit Lovecraftian. So as we can see there you've got something tentacles and just all sorts of things. So yeah, I'm just playing around, you know. Get into it. I'm using Sculpty as well, so I don't, I, you know I can put it away and come back to it whenever I feel like it. So that being said, it's Tony and Paula day tomorrow. Yeah. So I'll be picking Paula from work and I'll have a look around the shops, see what's open, 
see what's around, see if you've seen Disney things, any, anything like that. So, I will see you tomorrow, and so will Paula. Bye.